We conclude that there is reasonable cause to believe that BPD engages in a pattern or practice of conduct that violates the Constitution and federal anti-discrimination law. The head of the U.S. Justice Department's Civil Rights Division, Benita Gupta, announcing the agency's findings that the Baltimore Police Department engages in unconstitutional practices and highlighting what investigators describe as the routine use of excessive force. In addition to federal officials, Baltimore Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake and Baltimore Police Commissioner Kevin Davis also participated in the press conference Wednesday. After a 14-month investigation of more than six years of records, the DOJ's report says officers in Baltimore often use aggressive tactics that escalate matters and, quote, stifle public cooperation, unquote, leading to unnecessary use of force. The agency says the Baltimore Police Department, quote, trains officers to be aggressive, inculcating an adversarial mindset in its recruits and teaching them to, for example, point a weapon at unarmed innocent civilians to control a scene, unquote. The 163-page report also found that police use enforcement strategies that result in severe and unjustified disparities in the rates of African Americans being stopped, searched, and arrested. It also found systemic deficiencies in training, collecting and analyzing data regarding officers' activities and holding officers accountable. The findings come as tension between police and African Americans rise after several police shootings of black men in recent years. The Justice Department started probing Baltimore shortly after the April 2015 death of Freddie Gray, a black man who died of a severe spinal injury sustained in a police transport van. The report doesn't mention Gray. The death of Gray led to protests. The report said the police department is ineffective in overseeing the use of force. Of 2,818 incidents recorded by the department over roughly six years, only 10 were investigated by police officials and police found that only one involved excessive force. African Americans accounted for 95% of the 410 individuals the police department stopped at least 10 times. Indeed, one African American man was stopped 30 times in less than four years with none of the stops resulting in a citation or a criminal charge. The Justice Department says it tried to review all uses of deadly force in Baltimore since 2010, but the police department said it couldn't find files for 20 incidents where an officer fired a gun. However, the report credits the department under Police Commissioner Davis with taking laudable steps in some areas. Mayor Rawlings-Blake says the Justice Department and the city will negotiate a court-enforceable, independently monitored consent decree spelling out the steps the police department will take to overhaul its practices. She expects the cost of the changes to range from $5 million to $10 million a year.